becoming a widely known issue and one that Revelstoke must make itself familiar with. In the future, there will be a need to have as much land as possible under food production and to provide affordable food for the needs of our local population. To take the issue of food security and agricultural land reserves seriously, perhaps the CSRD should commit to an adding an acre for the ALR for every acre excluded from the ALR due to resort development. The CSRD has a responsibility to keep ALR protected for its original purpose. If land is taken out of this designation, it will forever be lost with the potential of being agriculturally productive. We must think beyond the short-term game of providing land for the long of our community. Sincerely, Karen, President of North Columbia Environment. Thanks. Thanks, Sarah. Our next speak uh, about land use in the CR, uh, CSRD elect electoral area B on behalf of the newly formed Revelstoke Food Matters Committee. Uh, we, are, we were established by initiative of community connections to ensure all citizens of Revelstoke have access to nutritious, seasonally acceptable and culturally appropriate foods produced in ways that are environmentally sustainable and socially just. In other words, our mandate are food security for all community members. Uh, we're happy to advise that Interior Health and City of Revelstoke letters of support for this initiative. So Revelstoke Food Matters support the retention of all existing ALR land parcels to ensure that there are areas of land that have the potential to be farms and ranch to provide food for a community. Revelstoke has had over 200 identified farms from the City of Revelstoke to 12 Mile Ferry between the years 1885 and 1970. While there are a few active farms at present, we believe that it would be wise to leave the community for Revelstoke to become more self-sufficient in the future. The reality of climate change means that the Columbia Basin will be most, will be most likely have uh, more favorable growing conditions. The recently released Columbia Basin Trust climate change uh, research document states that we should expect warmer temperatures and longer growing seasons. It is not unreasonable to expect to see a return to food production in these areas if land continues to be set aside in the ALR. Furthermore, we are quickly reaching the point where the maximum global petroleum pr production has been rich, reached. This point is referred to as cheap oil. What will result is a drop in production and a steady increase in the price of oil. When we consider that the average distance from the plate in Revelstoke is over 2,000 kilometers and the increasing cost of export, we can see the value of being able to produce our own food. Both these issues make a strong case for the retention of ALR land for food security. While the present culture makes it quite tempting to divide up parcels of land for development, and in some cases, short-term profit, our future generations ask us to be careful when making decisions that would be difficult to correct when considering our ability to feed ourselves and our food. Thank you.
we have to keep in mind that we want to build a community out there. And uh, if we just have these large lots that are going to sell to, uh, for millions and millions of dollars, we're not going to be attracting locals to stay in these areas. We're going to have other town people that maybe aren't going to be as community minded as the folks that are out there now. And my concern is that if we don't reduce the size of these lots to a think one hectare, um, maybe 0.5 hectares, we're going to lose the, the value of the area like there's way else. Sees it up there in the morning. That's what I'm going to say. I just had two questions. One, I don't understand from looking at the report. Uh, are you supporting two hectares of South Montana Creek or four hectares? It's two, two hectares. Two hectares. Two hectares. Two hectares. The paperwork seems to say that it supports two hectares. Uh, from the city of Revelstoke, Montana Creek, and Montana Creek is designated for large homes for that. Okay, so it is for, it is too bad. Hi, my name is uh, Scott Peter in Collins Park, what you call sort of a living dock. Um, this is my first meeting, so I just need some clarification. Uh, if the recommendation is for two uh, hectare properties, is the uh, committee or the regional district open to looking at development permits? Um, that may be specific to a property, meaning uh, if a property can be less than two hectares, you have to fall under certain regulations, you know, appropriate water, appropriate Thank you. 